With me now is the Conservative MP Jacob Rees-Mogg. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Um, just give me a composite description of the qualities that uh, the next leader of the Conservative Party and Prime Minister need to bring to the table as far as you're concerned. OK, a vote winner. Somebody who was on the side of Brexit because, as David Cameron and George Osborne have said, they can't lead the party because to implement the will of the people needs somebody who actually uh, believes in it. So you ain't voting for Theresa May? Uh, Stephen Crabb? That's right. But I, I, I think they are very able people. The Tory party is lucky to have so many capable people who would make good leaders of the party in other circumstances and indeed prime ministers. But that it will be hard to believe that somebody who campaigned for four or five months for remaining in the EU will have his or her heart uh, in Brexit. And we are going to need to reassure all those people who voted to leave that we are leaving, that we are dealing with immigration and we're going to have the same system from wherever you come in the world, not a special one for the EU, that we're going to take our money back and that we're going to make our own laws. And those three things need somebody who really believes in that but has the charisma, the panache, the vote-winning skills to do it, and that must be Boris. Boris is the man for you, no question about it. OK, um, Boris has already said, made it clear, that he believes access to the single market is going to be pretty important. Well, he's also said that we have to control um, migration. Okay. And access to the market is different from being a member of the market. The United States has access to the market right. without a trade deal. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, the US is our biggest individual country trading partner without any trade deal at all. So it has access to the market. It doesn't have to obey all the rules of the market. And the problem with the single market is it's actually a single regulatory zone. And 94% of companies never trade with the European Union, but they all have to obey every fiddly regulation so this that is the a EU Canadian turns deal. out. This is a Canadian uh, well, deal. I think it's a British deal. That we are. Once but we. But it'll take a long time to negotiate. Why, why, why will it take a long time to negotiate? Seven years it's taken yeah, Canada so far. We're a much more complicated no, uh, set of. Well, we're not because we meet all the requirements of selling into the EU at the moment. We meet all their requirements, every single one, and we are the EU's biggest customer. A million jobs in Germany relate to sales that they make to the United Kingdom. The Irish farming industry is dependent on the sales it makes to the United Kingdom. It is so overwhelmingly in the EU's interest to have a deal with us, more so than the other way around. The free movement of uh, workers, people, that's a red line? It's an absolute red line. Mm. Uh, we have to have a system where whether you're coming um, from Italy or India, you come in on the same basis. We may have visa-free travel for holidays and business trips, but people coming to live here must be judged on their merits and on the needs of the British economy, not given absolute freedom to waltz in as they like. Mm. You're saying that um, you understand it will take some time to sort this out, obviously, but you're saying it's not going to take as long as Canada, there, so, which an, is seven years. So how long? There's an excellent report by the House of Lords European Committee that sets out what happens under Article 50, what the process is, and why it was brought into the treaties. And it was brought into the treaties to stop an economic shock to the party leaving, but crucially to the European Union. That sets out a timeline of two years. We have, in our gift, when to exercise Article 50. I think we do that in the next few months. But that's, but that's to leave the European Union. The, the, the two, the two things run in parallel, obviously. You're going to get a trade deal. We, in two years. We meet all the requirements of trading with the European Union. Canada's taken seven even, years yeah, and but, you're going to do it in two. But currently Canada's light bulbs don't meet EU requirements. Canada's <laughs> um, loo systems don't meet EU requirements. We meet all of those rules and therefore it's very straightforward for us to carry on trading with the EU. But crucially, their self-interest demands it. Okay. Jacob Rousseau, thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you.